Wow, I can't believe that I am the first person on YouTube to talk about this phenomenon. That's crazy. Toxic boy moms. Weird how I'm talking about borderline incest twice in the span of a week. I'm clearly going through a phase. Humor me. For those of you who have been in a coma for the past couple of years and have no idea what I'm talking about, I envy you. I give all of you permission to hit me with your car. Please, put me out of my misery. Before you do that, let me catch you up to speed. <laughs> Toxic boy moms are mothers who make raising their son their entire personality. It's even worse when these moms also have daughters, yet still act like their sons are their whole world. World. Hey, that's me. Subscribe! Having unconditional love for your child isn't an issue. If anything, I endorse it in most circumstances. The word most is doing a lot of heavy lifting here though. Listen, I'm a big fan of Law & Order SVU. <laughs> I've seen those mothers defend their deplorable sons to the ends of the earth using their last dying breaths just for them to be sent to jail for diddling minors. So, I don't know guys, unconditionally loving your child, you know, it's, it's, it has its perks, but it also has its downsides, like most things in life. But I digress. There's a clear difference between loving your child and being in love with your child. With toxic boy moms, their relationship with their sons are usually too intimate and now everybody in the club is weirded out. I'm not saying that these mothers are having a, like legit incestuous relationships with their sons, but nobody would be surprised if they were. Like, have you seen these women? They're kind of crazy. If anything, it would just connect a lot of dots and really fill in some blanks. Anyway, not condoning incestuous relationships with their sons. I'm just saying one plus one equals two. Usually when a mother seems abnormally close or emotionally attached to their son, it's because they have like a specific expectation for them set before they were even born. We see toxic boy moms treat their sons like their pseudo husbands because their real husbands aren't living up to their standards or the mother themselves. They're single and trying to fill that void. Toxic boy moms will say something that would make even Sigmund Freud do the Dougie in his grave. And then they'll laugh it off as if they didn't say something that would make Olivia Benson's spidey senses start tingling. POV, my youngest son just proposed to me with the fake ring I sometimes wear when I travel. Pray for the girl who thinks she's gonna marry him. Hashtag mine forever. There are a million questions forming in my head. Most of them aren't even questions. It's just me screaming, huh? Another one of those questions is just me wondering what gasoline tastes like, but like that's unrelated. Don't worry about that. Listen, the gas stations, I was at the gas station the other day. I was sniffing the hell out of the <laughs> Look, you know what? Let me not finish that statement. Let's, 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 let's get back on topic. Expensive fake engagement ring aside, whose idea was this? Actually, I don't wanna know. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Yeah, I'm not gonna like the answer regardless. So it, it, does, it doesn't matter. The concept of a mother's being weirdly attached to their sons like this isn't new. All right, breaking news, guys. Mothers have a weird relationship with their sons sometimes. This is hardly breaking news. We have heard the horror stories of vicious mother-in-laws and wives having strange relationships with their partner's mothers due to unspoken resentment on the mother's side for whatever reason, whether it's like, you know, they think that the wife just isn't good enough for the son or the wife isn't mothering that. Oh, God, oh, I just wanna die. I wanna die. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Video's over, I'm done. Kidding, JK, I really got you there, didn't I? Emotional incest, it's a real problem. It's an epidemic, it's a, actually no, let's call it a, it's a pandemic. It's worldwide. For some reason, these mothers have been subconsciously treating their sons like they are their own partners, and the mother feels like they are in competition with any girl that their son has a relationship with. Very weird, very strange, you get Let's talk to a therapist challenge. Impossible. Not BetterHelp though. This video is not sponsored by BetterHelp. This channel is not sponsored by BetterHelp. It never will be. I've seen the YouTube videos. I'm not, I'm not a sellout. Relatively. Boy moms. Someone shared this to me and I knew I needed to share it with you. No truer words. Deep breath. Here we go. God, this is so theatrical and dramatic. Get a grip, woman. You always hear about a girl's daddy giving his daughter away on her wedding day. I had never thought much about the mamas and their sons, but y'all mamas give away something too, something just as precious, something I knew I would never get back. I gave away being the one he hugs and kisses. I gave away being the one he looks for in a crowd. I gave away being the first person he turns to when things get tough. 
I gave away being the one he makes laugh in the middle of the day. I gave away being his number one girl. I gave away a piece of my heart. She's a tear in my heart. Sorry. I give away my son. Deep down, I know he will always love me, but I also know he loves her more. He loves her more than his mama and that's okay. That's how I knew he had found the one. But isn't that what we want? We want them to marry a girl who they will put first, even if it means we become second. Mamas, love him while you are still first. Kiss his sweet baby face and linger in those lanky teenage hugs. Drive him to school, even when he is grumpy and doesn't say a word to you. Listen when he needs to vent and blow off steam. Love his friends. Bring the Motrin to school for the 100th time. Whatever, okay, that numbers, words, whatever. You know I can't read. He may have a headache, or he may just want to get out of class and chat with you for a minute. Sit next to his hospital bed, even through though he screwed up. Soak up every minute under those Friday night lights. Love him, forgive him, and forgive yourself for the things you didn't get right. Because one day, you will give him away. Why is this cut off? I can't see the rest of this all of a sudden. I hate you will stand and watch him give his heart to the love of his life. You will dance and he will say the sweetest things about who he has become because of you. He will hug you tight and it will feel a, a little like a goodbye. He will become his second best girl and it will be so dang hard. Me personally, I would not put my first and last name on something like this, but sure, you if you want your 15 minutes, I'll give it to you. Shout out to Al 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 Alyssa B Becknell. That was weird. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm still stuck on the, the he will hug you tight and it will feel a little like a goodbye. What are you, you, you're acting like you're never gonna see your son again because he's getting married? Get a grip, please. Please talk to a psychiatrist. Talk to somebody who isn't the general public because I don't wanna hear this. It is clear that this mother in particular wants to be the center of her son's universe. When the sons are babies, they depend on their mothers because they're babies and babies do that. Having that unconditional love feels good, especially if their husband, boyfriend, whoever, they're not as loving as the mother would want. Like I said earlier, they're filling a void. When they lose the admiration of their sons to other people, they easily become jealous. I still get jealous. For some reason, the concept of their sons loving more than one person is foreign to them. They're swearing up and down that they're never gonna see their sons again. I'm like, um, that's not how that works. Hopefully. I suppose these mothers just wanna feel wanted and needed. I, I guess, I don't know, that's that, that's a theory. But that's just a theory, okay. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to, to rub salt in the wound. That's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> it doesn't just stop there. No, 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 no. It gets worser. Any woman is susceptible to the wrath of a toxic boy mom, and that includes their own daughters. Ah, when daughters are thrown into the mix, it gets misogynistic really quickly. For starters, some boy moms swear up and down that the love between a mother and a son is vastly different from the bond that a mother and a daughter have, which is like, is it really? Look at this Reddit post. Ugh. Reddit. Anyway. Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law that she is extremely weird? So I, 27 female, am pregnant with my last child. Me and my husband already have one daughter and we both feel that two is enough for us. My sister-in-law and my brother, both 30, have four kids. They have one daughter and three sons. I just found out that I am going to have another girl and we just announced it over dinner. Everyone, everyone congratulated us, but after dinner, my sister-in-law took me to the side and told me that it was completely fine to feel devastated by the bad news. I asked what she meant, and she told me that even though she loves her daughter, no love compares to the love she feels for her sons. I told her that I am in no way dissatisfied with the news and I am happy and or glad. That's not what that says, okay, whatever with whatever gender and as long as they are healthy. She told me it was okay to be in denial that if I ever felt it was hard or too hard, excuse me, I could always talk to her. I walked away, but not before I said, you're extremely weird, you know that? My husband and I left right after and later that night, my brother texted me telling me off and that his wife was just showing compassion and trying to be understanding. And that just because I am sad about it doesn't mean that she deserves my treatment of her. Sorry, I just can't read today. I feel like I may have been a bit harsh on her because my brother rarely gets upset with people, but he is very upset with me now. No, no, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. That was very weird. Weird and odd behavior. Obviously, raising a boy and raising a girl aren't the same. 
not that I can speak from experience necessarily. I, I gave birth to a, a baby boy in my dream once, so I think I know a thing or two about motherhood from the, those pregnancy dreams. They, they weren't really dreams, they were nightmares. God, I don't want to have a kid right now. I'd argue that the differences aren't vastly different until puberty hits, but... I digress. Favoritism on either side is an issue and it only harms your children in the long run. Mothers who prefer their sons over their daughters are notorious for viewing their daughters as competition. Ah, weird. Look at how the competition thing rolls around again. Even this is it really be your own. It be your own family sometimes. Like it's genuinely such a weird mindset to have. Some toxic boy moms raise their sons to be the man that they want and don't want their daughters to outshine them. I've heard the horror stories about pick me moms and how they nitpick their daughters as a way to feel superior to them. I don't know, super weird stuff. Pick me mothers are a whole other demon that I'm not ready to spray holy water on just yet. I wouldn't say that the Venn diagram of toxic boy moms and pick me moms is like a complete circle, but there's definitely some potential overlap there. Not too long ago, there was a TikToker named Avery Wood that made an unfortunate video about how she loved raising her son while subtly dismissing her daughter in the same video. Boy moms, feel me on this, but my son has my heart, my heart and my soul. I obviously am obsessed with Stevie Lee. She is just the greatest little girl in the world. But my whole life, I always wanted to be a boy mom. And I remember when I found out I was pregnant with him and I was just ecstatic because I was such a tomboy growing up. Anyways, the whole point of me making this video is I had to share his preschool photo with you because when I tell you, I opened up this email and I just hysterically cried. You were happy to, to give birth to a boy because you were a tomboy? I don't even understand what that... What are you saying? What are you even trying to say? You don't have to give birth to a boy in order to engage in boy activities. Maybe your daughter could be into stuff like that too, like you were because you were a tomboy growing up. Does, does the concept of your daughter being a tomboy not compute in your head? Like she could also be a tomboy, like mother, like daughter. What's that about? I feel so bad for Stevie Lee. She's gonna grow up and see her mom talking about how much better her brother was than her simply because he was a boy. I'm not saying that Avery Wood is this terrible mother who's neglecting her daughter. Like I'm not trying to call CPS on her ass. I just wonder how on earth she could possibly sleep at night knowing that she has this clear bias against her own children. You don't understand, Nate, is I am crazier! That's not something to be fucking proud of, Cassie! When moms gush about this mystical love that sons only have with their moms, I suspect that the sons have nothing to do with it. Like, it's not about having a boy, if that makes sense. Like, the love between them and their sons isn't different because, like, having a son is objectively better or different. It's because the mothers have this specific mindset when it comes to their sons. Listen, I get it. Men are frequently disappointing individuals to interact with. Not all men. Not all men. Stick your dick in a drain pipe and get syphilis. Obviously, I'm not talking about all men. I understand that mothers view their sons as the perfect opportunity to build the perfect man. Like, yeah, the sentiment would be admirable if they weren't trying to raise their sons to be the perfect gentleman for society instead of raising them to be the perfect gentleman for themselves. It's totally natural and normal. And and I am happy that there are moms out there who want to raise their sons to be great people. That's fine, but it's starting to get a little weird. Sorry my vocabulary is so limited. In my last video, I did the same thing. I just I just kept saying the word weird, but that's just because I, I was at such a loss of words. It's just weird. That's the best I can give you right now. <laughs> I swear to God, like you would think that the love between a mother and a son could cure cancer the way that it's being glamorized so much. Like, what is this? What's going on, guys? Send the flood and don't even get me started with the mama's boys that are a product of these toxic moms. If I have to see one more debate about who rides shotgun between the wife and the mother, I'm gonna blow somebody up with my mind. Enough. You know what? How about they both sit in the back seat? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody gets shotgun. <laughs> Everybody suffers from this vicious cycle, even unsuspecting strangers who have nothing to do with this. Like we're all suffering. It's getting exhausting out here. Before I end this video though, I have yet to make a Bojack Horseman reference in the video and I am obligated by law to do so. So, sorry, I don't make the rules. This reminds me of this one episode of Bojack Horseman season four, episode two. It's one of my favorite episodes ever. It has um, this one song called I Will Always Think of You. Not only is that like my favorite song from the show, that's just one of my favorite songs of all time. Beautiful song. You don't even have to watch the show. Just listen to the song, it's great. Anyway, Bojack's grandmother had a lobotomy because 
she was emotionally unstable after the death of her son during World War II. Now, here's the thing. Bojack's grandmother has a daughter, which is Bojack's mother, Beatrice. She was so emotionally unstable, yet she had this daughter to raise. I'm not saying that Beatrice's mom was necessarily a toxic boy mom because, you know, her son died, right? Like, you know, cut her some slack. That, that, that's, that's hard for any mother, losing a child. But at the same time, it was very clear in that episode that Beatrice's mother, Bojack's grandmother, she favored her son over Beatrice. You know, it, it was mainly due to like 1940s misogyny, but whatever, it counts. It counts. I'm better now. I don't understand. Love does things to a person, terrible things. Beatrice? Promise me you'll never love anyone as much as I loved Cracker Jack. Like there was this one point where Cracker Jack, who is the brother who died, the son who died, whatever. There was this one point where Cracker Jack, he was eating a popsicle and Beatrice wanted a popsicle too. And her mother was like, girl, no, here's a lemon with some sugar on it. That's a healthy girl snack. Okay. And there's also Easter eggs in the, in the shell that shows Beatrice eating lemons with sugar on it like at her advanced age like even when she's old um she's still eating that snack because it has been ingrained in her mind that that's what girls are supposed to eat and you know <laughs> misogyny gross ew icky but anyway toxic boy moms are weird thoughts and prayers if you ever had to deal with one but when i was 15 i was i could have sworn up and down that my mother was a toxic boy mom i don't know she definitely seemed to favor my brother sometimes but i'm gonna be honest with the guilt of hindsight i realize that now at the age of 22 i realize that i've kind of forced my mom into that position of kind of liking my brother a little bit more because look i was insufferable sometimes like i was terrible okay okay mm, terrible is pushing it i wasn't an awful child but i definitely didn't make life easy for me most days love you mom sorry for ruining your mental health <laughs> She's fine now, we're besties. I love my mom. That's the video, pretty much. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. You didn't ask, but I'm just gonna add this in. This has nothing to do with boy moms or anything, but I got my first solo dub in Fortnite last night. Yeah, I guess I'm a pro player now. I don't know, watch out, Ninja. <laughs> I'm coming for your career. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, cool. So did I. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's so, that's so pretentious, that's so me. Subscribe if you want, don't really care do whatever you want. All my social medias are down in the description if you would like to find me elsewhere. And you're like, if I disappear off the face of the earth, you're like, what the hell happened to her? You know, I'm probably on another platform completely ignoring YouTube because YouTube is scary sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, okay, bye.